everybody. As we start a new week at school, I'd like to acknowledge that we are on Treaty 6 territory and the home of the Métis Nation. Métis means a person who identifies as Métis, is distinct from other Indigenous people, is of historic Métis uh, Nation ancestry, and who is accepted by the Métis Nation. The Métis people are a post-contact Indigenous nation born from the unions of European fur traders and First Nations women in the 18th century. The descendants of these marriages, the Métis, would form a distinct culture, collective consciousness, and a strong nationhood in the Northwest. Now, the Métis communities were integral to the operation and success of the fur trade, and they were the backbone of fur trade companies such as the Hudson's Bay Company and the Northwest Company. Métis communities developed along the fur trade routes, and the largest settlement was the Red River Settlement uh, far away in Manitoba. As the fur trade expanded into what we now know, know as Treaty 6 territory, the Métis moved further following the Carleton Trail and established communities such as Batoche, Saint-Paul-des-Métis, Edmonton, Saint-Albert, Lac-Saint-Anne, and many others. With their preferred Red River carts and their experiences, bison hunters, the Métis served many very important roles, including being transporters, traders, suppliers, interpreters, guides, and messengers. In Alberta today, in addition to the thousands of Métis who live across the province, there are eight Métis settlements. The first and only Métis self-government in Canada recognized constitutionally as distinct and protected people. These Métis settlements are a vital and a rich part of our Canadian cultural identity. And in Edmonton, there are over 27,000 individuals who identify as Métis. The Métis are a thriving community and one of three legally, politically, and culturally distinct Indigenous people uh, of Canada. And so today, we'd like to acknowledge the, the Métis and their impact upon our present and our, our future communities. Uh, today's a special treat. We'll be standing and listening to the anthem of the Métis Nation of Alberta. Can you stand and join me, please? Long ago was born a people, a new nation rose up strong. Years of trials and tribulations placed us here where we belong. With the past as motivation, all our dreams can be fulfilled. If we're true to our traditions, what a future we can build. We are proud to be Métis, watch our nation rise again. Never more forgotten people, we're the true Canadian. Long ago was born a people, a new nation rose up strong. Years of trials and tribulations placed us here where we belong. With the past as motivation, all our dreams can be fulfilled. If we're true to our traditions, what a future we can build. We are proud to be Métis, watch our nation rise again. Never more forgotten people, we're the true Canadian. We are proud to be Métis, watch our nation rise again. Never more forgotten people, we're the true Canadian. Hey everybody, welcome to New Day at School. Today it is Wednesday and it's November 16th. Hope you enjoyed that special uh, anthem. I'd like to start by wishing a big welcome to Ms. Peckett and to Ms. McVitie who are returning or joining our staff or returning to our staff. Ms. Peckett is our teacher who is returning to 
uh, to room one after maternity leave. And Ms. McVitie is joining us as an educational assistant working primarily out of room 17. So welcome to you. A uh, little heads up to everybody. Today at about 1.55, there is a wireless system alert test that's going to be sending a message to uh, cell phones across Alberta. So if you hear an alert to go off at 1.55, uh, that's not us. It's all good. Just uh, acknowledge that alarm and, and move on. Little message today, if your he class is heading to the library over the next few days, please check and check out the featured display books uh, that just might make you laugh out loud. You'll find some joke books and some hilarious stories by authors like Mo Willems and Robert Munch. And thanks to Mrs. Bashu and Mrs. Bosch, uh, Foff, sorry for pulling these books for us. Hope you enjoy those ones. Hey, uh, I've noticed we've got a lot of mittens landing in the lost and found. So with winter coming up, it is super important that we have our stuff, that we've got our gear to keep us nice and warm. So please keep track of your mittens. Please keep track of your winter stuff. Uh, when you arrive at school, make that special effort to hang up your snow pants, hang up your jacket so they're not lying on the ground. Uh, this is Métis Week that we are acknowledging. Uh, this week, thanks to our diversity and inclusion team who've shared a slide deck with some uh, some activities you might enjoy. I uh, hope you enjoyed the land acknowledgement today. I'm going to be featuring this week some of uh, some of my favorite things that remind me of the Métis. So today, in honor of Métis Week, I'd like to share this Centure Fléché. Uh, this is a, a Métis sash, sometimes called a voyageur sash. Uh, in Michif, Centure Fléché, I believe, is the correct pronunciation. And uh, this is a symbol of the Métis would be worn around the waist, or sometimes you'll see it draped uh, diagonally across the chest. And this particular one is a, a very beautiful Louis Riel style ceinture fléché. So there you go, it's your Métis Week contribution for today. Uh, hey, heads up to choir club friends that we've got a choir club rehearsal taking place tomorrow at 11.55. And uh, this morning I'm meeting with our trustee, Julie Kusiak, and our assistant superintendent, Ron Thompson, to participate in results review, which shares how we did as a school last year. So for our students, really proud. Uh, we've got some great academic results to share, some really good PAT re results, some uh, great growth that, uh, that was shown on our CAT course. So I'll share those, that information. And for our staff, I'll be sharing about uh, all of the professional learning that you did last year to support Students will be joined by our, uh, our school council chair, our GFAS uh, chair, and also the Greenfield Grown Ups chair. So fingers crossed that goes really well. In our Greenfield weather forecast today, it's beautiful outside this morning. It's going to cool down to about minus seven, but it uh, should be a great day for recess. Okay, friends, that's all I've got for you today. Don't forget to work hard in class. Don't forget to be uh, kind, to be great friends to others, and have an awesome day. Thanks.